Alain Tebo has pursued a single target for over 15 years. He wants to build the fastest sailing boat ever. He literally wants his boat to fly. September 4, 2009, Alain Tebo and his crew are sailing the 18.28 meter long trimaran Idrop Terre at high speed off the Mediterranean coastal town of Ayer in southern France. The Edrop Terre is winging its way over the water at an average speed of 51.36 knots, or 95 kilometers per hour, thereby breaking the absolute world speed record for a sail-powered vessel. To attain such high speeds, Anand Tebo's team had to reduce the drag of all components affecting aerodynamics and to optimize the design and control of the sails. The main challenge, however, was to develop hydrofoils providing sufficient lift without causing water turbulence. For this reason, only innovative and advanced materials were used in the design of the Edrop Tear. This becomes obvious when looking at the price of the mast, which cost 400,000 euro. The struts of the boat are made of titanium. The sails woven from carbon fiber. The hydrofoils originate from the Airbus factory in Nantes, and the suspension of the hydrofoils, inspired by the landing gear of an aircraft, must withstand a pressure of 45 tons. However, the Edrop Terre is not only an ultra-fast trimaran made from innovative materials, it is also an advanced technology platform using HBM measurement technology installed on board for improving and developing the concept. The Edrop Terre is therefore also a laboratory ship for researching the specific features of a trimaran. Stability, speed, cavitation, drag, vibration, and oscillation as well as the wear of materials used. The measurement system enables the sailors to carry out real-time analyses of the loads affecting the boat. Engineer Damien Colgrave is responsible for the complete monitoring and data acquisition during each test. Visual and acoustic signals warn immediately as soon as a strain limit is exceeded and thus enable Damien Colgrave to react as required. After each test, he carries out a complete analysis of the recordings to draw conclusions from the boat's responses to swell, wind, and orientation of the sails. In addition, the results are compared to the calculations provided by the EDROP-6 flight simulator, which enables engineers to predict the trimaran's theoretical behavior more reliably. Damien Colgrave says about the use of measurement technology, the strain gauges and the transmitted data were a prerequisite for calculating and designing the main components of the boat, especially the transition pieces between boom, hydrofoils, and hull. For this reason, we have focused on the strain gauges, their protection, and the use of the data they provide. This is essential to a project like Edrop Terre because it is a prototype for which no empirical values regarding the potential loads are available at all. We installed our latest CAN bus based measurement system in 2006 after comparing many suppliers with each other. We chose HBM. The DigiClip Digital Modular Amplifier fully met our expectations. It is compact, lightweight, and extremely robust. And above all, it is very easy to use. HBM service engineers expertly installed over 40 full bridges and protected them against external influences using appropriate materials. The DigiClip amplifiers, as well as the strain gauges, have now been on board for three years. They have withstood high speeds attained in seawater as well as the strong vibrations without any problems. 